And this one being contested between boxes from Cuba and the Czech Republic. Valery Pashutov of Moldova is the referee in our final contest of the evening. Round one. So we're underway then. The final bout, bout number 14 of this fifth session of boxing, is between two 19 year old 19 year olds. The man wearing red, the taller figure, is Danny Lafos Pol, Cuban national champion in his second bout here in Kielce 2021. Prevailed on a hard fought 3 2 split over Marco Verdi from Mexico on the opening day of competition. Boxed beautifully, but was also tagged repeatedly by a rapid fire southpaw left. He's facing another southpaw here today, and that is Milos Baranek from the Czech Republic. He, too, national champion of his homeland. Multiple titles under his belt over the years. Very experienced operator. Lafos Pol in his first major international competition. But you can see as he gets to work with that flicking left jab against the southpaw that he is a very accomplished operator indeed. Again, having boxed here once already, it's a contest where he appeared to get to grips with it. But then, by operating in his characteristic hands down low style, the rapid fire left cross checked his chin and brought about a standing count in that contest. And he edged it on a 3 2 split, 29 28 for all five judges. And yeah, but there you can see an example of his punch repertoire. But of course, this game not just about giving punches, it's how well you can evade them. And if you have to take them, how well you can take them. And even though he Boxing with his hands down by his side, his reflexes didn't betray him. He just couldn't get out of the way of the rocket launcher left hand that his opponent from Mexico was unfurling. Marco Verdi with a cracking left cross, crashing home repeatedly. Baranic looking to get to work with his own lead southpaw right here now. Nice cutting right hand landed around the corner. Baranic looking for that shot, takes a right hand to the body from Lafos Paul. Lafos Paul just inching his way out of distance as he turns a right hand bolo shot just above the belt line. There's evidence of a left cross success once again. Lafos Paul whipping in another bolo shot to the body. So you can bet that the coaches of Baranic will have watched the opening contest of Lafos Paul. The Cuban boxer goes downstairs with another whipping right hand to the torso. Looking for the same shot once more to the midsection. He's used that repeatedly and it's proving to be a profitable punch. Very good round of boxing. Both boxers enjoying successes. But greater variety and repertoire and indeed volume landed by the man wearing red. He started more quickly. Ranek coming into the contest in the closing stages, and he has taken it for Judge B. A 4-1 split in favor of the Cuban at the end of what was a competitive opening round. Some of the action from that first round. Mm -hmm. 
Take it out, please. Round two. So into the second round then. Nine men, excuse me, nine boxes on both of the squads of these nations. Cuba, no women boxers in their ranks. Or the Czech Republic, it's a 5-4 split, five men and four women. Nice left jab landed by Lafos Paul. Looking to get to work with a right-hand lead out of that orthodox stance. So Baranek looking to establish his southpaw jab. Nice bolo shot to the body once again, and then a straight right hand right down the pipe from Lafos Paul. It's physical at close range. And given his body punching prowess, I'm surprised Lafos Paul not looking to make room for that whipping right hand to the torso that he's been using to such success. But Neri used it three shot combination. Body, head, body from the man in red. Lafos Paul onto the front foot now. As Baranek looks to go to the torso of the taller Cuban boxer. He scores with a nudging left hand to the body before disengaging and getting beyond punching distance. Oh, that's a vicious body shot once again. And look at the response as Baranek visibly dropped his hands and took a sharp intake of breath. All these body punches beginning to take it out of him. His hands down by his belt line now. That could leave the chin open, but he comes back with two punches of his own. Oh, wicked shot to the body once again. And Baranek's being chopped down. He gamely bites down in his gum shield and fires back with two punches of his own. But hard, accurate, hurtful body shots being sunk in just above the belt line from Lafos Pulp. Again, targeting the body with the final shot of that salvo. And again, another right hand turned underneath. And Baranek is becoming visibly shorter almost by the second. Like a jack-in-the-box being pushed down back into its container. The body shots just causing him to get more and more crumpled, trying to protect that torso. Look at him fiddling with his shorts, just trying to get some oxygen into those lungs. There's another right uppercut to the body and then left hook flashed around the corner. Lafos Pulp with some really accurate and impressive work to the body in the second round of this 69 kilogram welterweight bout. Counter left cross sends Baranek tottering backwards and my goodness, that was absolutely beautiful to behold. Teenage boxers producing infighting like that. 4-1 in favor of the Cuban boxer. Not quite sure how you could score that round for Baranek. Given the punches he absorbed, particularly to the body just like that. Those reminiscent of a veteran of the prize ring of over 10 years. Look at the skill, the accuracy, just how he turns them underneath. What an attribute to have as a 19-year-old. Absolutely sensational. Now, how is Baranek? What type of shape is he going to emerge in Second for the start please. of this third round? Because that was a beautifully brutal display of bodywork from the man in red. We're into the third and final round. Has the 60-second interval been enough for the man to recover? And another body shot sinks in. And it dislodges the mouthpiece of Baranek. Terrific body punching in evidence from Lafos Pulp from both flanks. But the right hand, look at that. Baranek just having to take a sharp intake of breath. Now Lafos Pulp will have recognized that because he's up in the ring. And I recognize that from my ringside position, how, what odds the man in red goes to target the body once again. Good work to the body from Baranek himself. 
but he's been outgunned in that department. Nice left hand on the inside. And Lafos Paul here in the third round, looking to turn up the intensity further. Nice lead left hand of the Czech variety as Lafos Paul goes downstairs with a shot to the body, but this time it's deemed to have strayed below the belt line. Spoken to by the referee about that infringement. Oranek trying to establish his lead right hand, catches Lafos Paul with a left cross out of that southpaw stance. Right hand to the body, left hook to the head, and you can see the pain and discomfort visibly etched onto the face of Baranek, who takes another hard right hand dug into the pit of his stomach. And Baranek continually being doubled over by the body shots, and he's had his chin checked by a shot upstairs. And again, this is a sustained burst of brilliant body punching by Lafos Polt. Sustained pressure over the course of rounds two and three in particular making this a very distressing experience as an uppercut is turned through the middle. Baranek is displaying some desire and terrific conditioning because each of these body shots is having an increasingly pronounced effect here at the Halep Legionov. Same shot once again, that leaves the chin open and that's why he was able to score with an arcing left hook. Uppercut dips the knees of Baranek in distress, mouthpiece dislodged and a standing count issued. It's come out for the second time. Look at him trying to straighten up and get oxygen into his lungs. Second standing eight count of the contest. And the referee, while well, he's deeming that it's okay to continue, but this is why the dislodging of the mouthpiece is an infringement. He's taken an eight count, and now there's more time for him to try and recover as it has to be rinsed and reinserted. Now, is this going to be a standing count for this infringement? Hand sanitizer has to be applied now for my money. That's two times. Indeed. And there's the final talking to about that infringement of the mouthpiece coming out. Now it's been dislodged by punches here, not necessarily to the chin. But the shots being whipped into the body, just causing Baranek to exhale with such force that the mouthpiece was shoved out on that second occasion. And again, Lafos Paul continuing to target the torso of the man in blue. He's got 30 seconds to make it to the end of the round and have the warrior satisfaction of ending the bout on his feet. He's plenty tough, is Baranek, the man from the Czech Republic. He's still looking for the shots to try and compete. He scores with a left hook upstairs after he takes another shot to the body from the bruising, bustling punches of Danny Lafos Paul. This has been a quite magnificent display and something you don't often associate with boxers at the youth level. But Danny Lafos Paul fairly chopped down his man with unstinting work to the rib cage and torso of the man in blue. And Baranek, well, you can bet that his work of, uh, on the medicine ball will have paid dividends in preparation for this tournament because he was tattooed repeatedly to the torso and rattled around the ribs by some accurate, hurtful, spiteful body punching that was dug in over the courses of, course of rounds two and three in particular from Danny Lafos Paul. Merciless from the man in red. Ladies Let's get the verdict. The winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the red corner, Lafos Paul Dane Landis, Cuba. Well, there is confirmation of a unanimous points decision victory. Those are the scores. Not from the end of the contest, but from the middle of the contest after two completed rounds. Danny Lafos Paul in complete control over the course of that contest, and there is confirmation of a unanimous clean sweep of the third and final round to take it unanimously and progress through to the round of 16.